the, the biggest effect, uh, apart from the local devastation, is uh, throwing up dust into the atmosphere and dimming yeah. uh, the sun for a year or two, and that, that would cause crop failures or um, food shortages globally. The description of a potential asteroid impact, the Astronomical Society's annual camp near Ashburton last weekend, called Stardate South Island 2020, heard from asteroid expert Alan Gilmore, who's been using the Mount John Observatory in Tekapo since 1973, to track asteroids whose orbits take them near Earth. We don't discover these objects ourselves, our, our equipment just doesn't cover enough sky. Um, so yeah. we follow up uh, objects that have been found by search programs. They're mostly in Arizona and uh, Hawaii. Um, they're uh, special telescopes with wide fields of view and they find these objects and then they immediately report them to the Minor Planet Centre which is based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Yeah. The Minor Planet Centre puts new discoveries onto its website immediately and uh, we endeavour to follow up objects that are accessible to us from, from Mount John. Gilmore says there's over a thousand potentially hazardous asteroids that would cause temporary but destructive change in weather across the globe if they collided with the Earth. While none are set to collide with the Earth over the next 200 years, one will come close in nine years' time. And it has a, a name Apophis after a um, uh, an Egyptian god of destruction um, and that one in 2029 uh, April the 14th New Zealand time uh, will pass 28,000 kilometres from the earth. Now that object is about 300 metres across so that currently is, is the most threatening. Unfortunately for those attending last week's camp Rain clouds at night prevented stargazing for most of the weekend, with the astronomers having to make do with solar observations during the day. Near Ashburton, the South today.